Well, some West Louisville families are remembering their neighbor who died in a fire that caused a nightmare after Christmas. WDRB Stefan Johnson spoke to a witness about the frantic attempts to get everyone out of a burning apartment. It happened Tuesday morning inside an apartment unit at this building on River Park Drive in the Shawnee neighborhood. Several people made it out of the burning building, but one person died in the fire. So at first I saw this lady was pounding on the door, my door and my neighbor's door, uh, screaming, telling everyone to come outside. After waking up to the sound of a neighbor beating on her door on Tuesday morning, McKenna Benningfield realized her home was full of smoke. With the smoke billowing everywhere, it was it was silent and I was just frantically running around like calling, trying to call 911, trying to find my cat. After calling 911, Benningfield used her phone to record the flames shooting from her building. There was just a huge flame coming out of the side of my apartment building and I stood there and I watched it and I recorded it. I didn't know what else to do. I was in my freaking pajamas and barefooted. Our companies were there within minutes. Louisville Fire Chief Brian O'Neill says they were able to keep the fire from spreading, but one person did not survive. They found her right away, but unfortunately she had already succumbed to the smoke. Chief O'Neill says despite the tragedy, it could have been worse. The initial call was based on uh, a sounding smoke alarm. So absolutely people uh, check your smoke alarms, make sure that they're working well. Uh, if you need one, you can call 311 and we'll come out to your structure and put one up inside of your home. She was calling out her name and banging on the door. Although she feels lucky to be alive, Benningfield is still heartbroken about her neighbor. I don't know, it's really a tragedy, the lady. Um, I wish that that didn't happen to her. Right now, the cause of the fire is still unknown. Meanwhile, there's a GoFundMe page for the victims of the fire. You can find that on our web page by connecting to this story. With photojournalist Zebanique Pettis, I'm Stefan Johnson, WDRB News.